finding of armstrong number so which number we call it as an armstrong first we'll see the logic and then we'll implement the same in python programming so usually uh, the armstrong number means sum of uh, cubes of individual digits sum of cubes of individual digits is equal to a given number then we call it as a armstrong number but this definition is a partially correct this definition is a partial correct it's not a perfect definition partial correct so what is the correct definition so this armstrong number finding of this armstrong number depends upon the number of digits of a given number number of digits number of digits of a given number so first we need to find the number of digits of a given number and then we have to find the logic see this definition is correct only for a three digit number three digit number right so in order to find whether the three digit number is an armstrong this definition is correct that means sum of cubes of individual digits and if it is a two digit number see if it is a two digit number then sum of squares squares of individual digits individual digits must be equal to that given number and if it is a four digit number if it is a four digit number so we need to find out the sum of individual digits power 4 individual digits power 4 and if it is 5 digit number the individual digits power 5 so that means first we need to find the number of digits of a given number and then we have to apply the logic so if it is 2, di two digit we have to apply the square because the individual digit power 2 that means a square if it is 3 digit individual digits power cube okay power 3 that means a cube if it is 4 power 4 so uh, let us take an example let us take an example here so let us take uh, some 3 so 3 is a one digit one digit so what we have to do power 1 we have to use a power 1 3 power 1 is equal to 3 so which is equal so 3 is a armstrong number 3 is a armstrong right next 153 let us take this one so it's, it is a three digit number it is a three digit number so we have to apply one cube plus five cube plus three cube which is equal to one plus 125 five cube plus 27 which is nothing but 153 so it is also an Armstrong number and for example if you take uh, some 12 so it is a two digit number it is a two digit number so one square plus two square is equal to one plus four is equal to five so which is not equal to 12 so this is not an armstrong this is an armstrong this is an armstrong but this is not an armstrong similarly if you go with the four digit one six three four it's a four digit four digit right so if it is a four digit so one power four plus six power four plus three power four plus four power four it will be one plus six power four so it is one two nine six plus three power four eighty one 
plus 4 power 4 256 so if you sum all these things we will get 1 6 3 4 which is a same number given number so this is also an Armstrong number so first we need to find the number of digits and then we will go with the sum of powers for this we will see so in order to find the individual digits simply you can use a mod operator okay so that you will get an individual digit and reduce reduce the value right so uh, reduce the number this is a one way we can apply the uh, logic to find the number of digits and so uh, simply you can increment the count here increment the count and one more way is simply apply the string function okay apply the string function to the number given so that it will convert it into a string so that we can find the length of this string in python we can do like this so otherwise if you take n so simply we have to iterate until n greater than 0 simply find the reminder so that we can get the individual digits right so n mod 10 a single digit will be getting so let us take a count plus plus so increment the count value and then reduce the n value so that finally we can see the count value that is a number of digits so this is the logic in other languages we can find the number of digits by using this logic in other languages and simply in python we can apply the n to the type casting function string so that it will be converted into a string so that we can apply the length so that we will get the length of the number that means the number of digits available in that number and then we can simply find out the sum of all these things so because this will be the power right this will be the power simply you can use a double star which is an exponential operator so and directly we can use a power function or here you can import the uh, math module and uh, we can simply use a power function so by using this count value as a power in other languages right now let us implement in python first let us let me take the n value n is equal to so int of input enter number right enter number and then i will convert it i will convert it into string function and find out the length length str of n so that we'll get the length see print uh, l so if i give one two three four we'll get a four right simply one two three we'll get a three so this is a simple function to find out the length so one more way i'll tell you so why n greater than 0 simply uh, find out the reminder r is equal to n mod 10 so that will get uh, the individual digits and then uh, use a count count value so count is equal to count plus 1 and simply reduce the n value n mod 10 and finally we can print the count value so that it will give the number of digits of a given number so initially give the count value is equal to 0 see 1 2 3 4 again we got a 4 and if you give 1 2 3 we will get a 3 as a result and if you give 1 2 3 4 5 we will get a 5 as a result so this is one more way to find the count now what we have to do so we have to find the sum of all the digits so before that i will go with uh, some x is equal to n so because we are reducing that number here so uh, in the x we are having some n and also i will go y is equal to n so i am passing n value to both the variables x and y so here let us take uh, y n greater than 0 simply find out the individual digits so, so here we will go with the x okay x greater than 0 r is equal to x mod 10 and sorry sorry here is equal to r is equal to x mod 10 and now we have to find the sum sum is equal to sum plus power function right here r is having the individual digits r so r r uh, go give the exponential function with a count if count is 2 r square uh, if count is 3 r cube if count is 4 r power 4 so simply i'll give the parentheses so that the first it will be evaluated and then the addition will be done and uh, reduce the value x is equal to x mod 
10 sorry uh, uh, floor division of 10 so finally we will get the sum so finally we have to compare the sum with the original value so here we have taken n value and here we have updated the n value and here we have updated the x value so x and n will be changed so we have to compare with y so if sum is equal to is equal to y uh, simply you can say print y so let us uh, okay so y is an Armstrong number and if, if the sum doesn't matches, so that means else part, so simply we can print y is not an Armstrong. So this is how we can find the Armstrong number for n digit number. See, if I go with the 153, some sort of error is given. So let us take sum is equal to sum plus. So we have, yes, so we should take sum is equal to 0 initially because we are uh, performing the sum operation we are updating the sum but we have not given any value so i have given 0 initially so 153 so we can get 153 is an armstrong number and simply uh, just now we have seen the example that is 1634 four digit number is also an armstrong number so if you take 123 it's not an armstrong number because 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube right and doesn't equal to 123 and if you give 3 a single digit number so it will be an m strong number and if you take one two three four five five digit number it's not an m strong number right so this is a simple process to find the m strong number n digit m strong number right so this is one way we can uh, convert the uh, number type into a string type and find the length so that we'll get the number of digits of a given number otherwise simply iterate the number and find out the reminder that means uh, individual digits and find out the count and reduce the number so that the count is nothing but the number of digits of a given number right so once again we are using the sum of sum function sum is equal to sum plus reminder power count so previously we have calculated the count which is nothing but a number of digits so that that should be the power of the reminder that means an individual digit right so we, we can compare the sum with the given number so if both are equal we can say it is a armstrong if not we can say it is not an armstrong number right so don't get confused here uh, in the process of uh, uh, finding the individual digits we are updating the n value and here in, in the process of finding the sum we are updating the x value so while after taking the n value we are assigning the n value to x and y so that in one process we are updating the n in another process we are updating the x so we are comparing the final sum with y value right so hope you understood this one so if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really under understood my session like my session uh, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much